Hello, once again we are playing with Inventor today. We're going to show you how to create another part. This time we're going to create a geometric construction and then extrude it into a bushing for a wheel axle. This is part of our wheel project that we've been doing. I'm simply going to go back to our new, just like before, I'm going to select standard IPT again and go and let it load. Once it loads, we have two options. We can do this part two different ways and we'll show you both ways before we're done today. First off, we're going to do a line. In this case, this line is going to be roughly an inch and a half long. I'm going to select that line type right there and change it to a center line. That center line type right there is now going to be the center around which, or the axis around which, I will create an, a revolution or revolve surface. I'm going to come back in and use my rectangle tool to draw two rectangles, one here and one starting here and going over this far. Once I've got that done, I will then trim out the area between my two rectangles and start applying some control dimensions to this. From one end of this part to the other end of this part is 0.75 inches in length. So I put in my 0.75. Now the upper portion, or the shoulder portion right here, is a quarter of an inch or 0.25 inches. This whole part is 1.375 or 1 and 3 eighths inches in diameter. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply that out and notice it puts my dimension as if it's a whole diameter because it recognizes that center line as the center of a piece we're going to revolve around. So I'm going to tell this to be 1.375 inches in diameter. Now the inner diameter is 0.75 so I'll go from here to here and I'll tell that thing to be 0.75 my whole line. And the bushing, again, is to be one inch exactly in diameter at this point. Now, when I've got all this done, I'm ready to revolve my piece. Once I've got my sketch completed, all my geometry is correct. I've created the roughly backward L shape with the fat stem. And I'm going to click on the finish and then go over here to my revolve tool. My revolve tool is in part of my modeling features. Now the revolve takes and spins around a central axis, whatever the geometry was I created. In this case, it will be my shape that I've generated. When I click on it, it automatically assumes full, because that's what I did last time. And if I'm correct, I simply hit the OK button, and I'm completed. That's all it takes. Now, like I said, we were going to show you both methods of creating this one. If I was done with this and I wanted to keep it, I could then simply go down here and do a Save As. Again, I'm going to save it to my desktop. We're not going to call it part two. We're going to call it bushing one. We're going to call this an A because we're going to show you both forms. So I'll hit the save here, and then I'll close this drawing out. Again, we're going to start with a new. This time, we can create the same part using an extrude, but we're going to use the geometry differently with this. I'm going to create a circle, a simple circle based on our origin point. Once I've got that, I'm going to create another circle that goes outside of it. This will be the basis for my part. Now I do need to apply some geometric dimensioning to control the size of this. The inside diameter of this thing is supposed to be 0.75 and the outside diameter of it will be 1 inch. This is our major portion of our part. Once I've done that, I simply take it and I do an extrude. Well, I can extrude the whole thing or part of it. I'm just going to extrude this portion right here. And since our whole part is 0.75 inches long, I will simply type in 0.75 and there it is. It's completed. Now I just have to put the shoulder out here, so I will simply click on this surface right here, create a 2D sketch upon it, go back in here with a circle and start in the same center point, drag it out beyond, take a dimension, tie it to that, make that dimension 0.1, oops, 0.1.375 and then apply it and then all I have to do is once again finish my sketch I will simply take and do an extrude and this time I'm only going to select that new part I made right there now it's trying to go in the direction that it went before along the z-axis I can reverse it by clicking on this arrow and dragging it back or I can simply change my arrow tools right here alright so I'm going to go negative on my z-axis and I'm going to tell that to be 0.25 inches. Press my OK or hit my Enter key, 
and there I've created my bushing again. It's the same bushing I had before, just a different manner in which to create it. I can simply go back up here just like before, tell it to do a save as, put that one on my desktop, and I'm gonna, oop, I'm gonna save that one as bushing 1B, and be done with it.